really my thing, but I definitely get it, and I and I like what they're doing. I like what Zoo Zoo is doing a lot, mm -hmm. like there. I I haven't it. heard of them. What what's their deal? That's a uh, it's Greg's uh, new new band. Him, uh, the brother uh, Mike Chevy or Sway Heavy that do okay. the production and then video, the illest videos for everybody. Mm -hmm. right. And um, let's see, his cousin Taylor uh, on the keys and on the vocals. Okay, and so it's a band. Yeah, and then Ken's okay. DJ. Okay. So, yeah, they're. they're they're bad. Dope, dope. Yeah, they're cool. Can you talk just a little bit about why didn't you record for those seven months? <clears throat> um, kind of just I don't know. When I when I'm in the studio, I go I just record a lot. I go really really hard. I probably have eight, like seventy or eighty songs that nobody's ever heard. Mm -hmm. Still, you know. Huh. And um, I don't know. It was life kind of happened for me as well. So I just wasn't in the mood to make music. I kind of had to get back to me first. Then once I got back to me as an individual, then it gave me more to talk about. So now I've just got all these ideas and all these stories and this stuff. So I'm just trying to figure out how to put them onto a beat and make it make sense to everybody else. Is the sound with mushrooms like a different platform for you, or is that a new sound? What? Um, I just I saw the beat uh, Amano Mari from Cali from Cali or whatever. He did the beat and it was just really trippy. And mm. um, I've, I've I've dabbled. And psychedelics a couple times, so it just made sense. <laughs> and, uh, and it just it just made sense, you know. It just to, it just made sense to me to make the song and put myself back in that situation. Like I said, I literally sat in a room with no lights on and mentally put myself back there. To try wow! To how, how I felt like that. He was on a Damn. spaceship. Yeah, so I guess that is kind of some new space stuff. That's some trippy stuff to to, yeah. to put yourself in that situation without actually doing it. Yeah, yeah. So, well, any last thoughts? Let's uh, um, let's wrap this up and cool. uh, yeah. keep going. Um, Anything you want to tell thanks our for, listeners? Thanks for having me. Yeah, um, it was quick and pretty, wasn't it? Do, uh, <laughs> do your thing as an individual, whatever that thing may be. Um, we all have a purpose, and every day that we're not living to try to figure out what that purpose is is a wasted day. Mm. Dope. So I'm learning myself. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that to, to reinforce it to myself, too, not to preach to nobody else because cool. I'm learning as well. All right, cool. That's Thanks for coming right. through, brother. We're going to take a few pictures, and we'll be back at you with uh, Mr. Minnesota Musicolic Hip Hopper Extraordinaire <laughs> from, yeah, from the neighborhood. Alias is like my man's right here. Man. I know. He got like eight names, like a mobster, let me, let man. Let me go on three. <laughs> I think just call me Mr. Music, though. Let me get two on there with. Right, we'll be right back at you. Give us a few minutes. Peace. Yeah, that's a good music, though, bro. Oh, oh really?